Hi there and welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. I'm Iceman and today we're going to change things up a little bit. My aim today was to do a guide video um, but plans have changed. I wasn't going to take part in this 10x but after looking at the champions available again I've decided that out of all these champions available at least three of them I really want. So we're talking Seeker so I can try a Batman comp would be really cool. Uh, he's the only champion I'm missing for it. I'd still need to probably farm some of the gear for it, get everybody up there, but that'd be cool to try and work on. And Lysandra, obviously absolutely amazing, and Molly, for me, would really help with the dwarves through faction wars. So, given that you're better off pulling shards on a 2x, but you can get anybody, I could go another year or two without getting her, so I decided I'm going to throw a caution to the wind, we're going to do a shard opening video, and we're going to aim for one of these uh, three champions that I'm after. Anyway, fingers crossed for me, and let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so we have 40 ancient shards and 6 sacreds. I'm going to leave the voids, I'm not, well, don't get me wrong, I'd love to get Raglan, but... I don't fancy my chances outside of a 2x, uh, didn't do too well in a 2x, so I'm going to save these for the next 2x and we'll go for these and see what we get. So, let's start with the sacred, shall we? We might alternate a bit here, see how we go. Basilisk, okay, not what we're after. Pull another one while we're here. Corpse Collector, definitely not who we're after. Let's go for a Temple on Ancient, shall we? I always hate watching them. If, if I'm not doing a video, I just click to skip this bit. Nothing but balloon. Food all the way. Couple of good champs, but you know. Champs that I already have, so. Neither here nor there. Do another temple. Fan Cleric. Not a champion I really use. I believe I've already got at least one. Nave already got one. Okay. This is only a 10x and it's outside of the. Uh, 2x chance so we knew our chances were slim but we thought we'd uh, roll the dice anyway and see what we could get seeker yes I will take that so we've got one of the ones I'm after now if only we can get a Mori so seeker let's take a quick look at him since we've got him here attacks one enemy two times and has a 25% chance of placing a provoke debuff one turn. This chance can be booked up to 50%. Nice move in the arena, really frustrating when you're facing off against him. His A2 Tailwind fills the turn meter of all allies by 30%, places a 50% increase attack buff on all allies for two turns, and grants an extra turn. This is obviously the reason he's used in Clan Boss. It boosts the turn meter, keeps everybody flowing fast, and gives the increase attacks and you're hitting harder and doing more damage. So, this is why he's there, obviously. And then he has a passive on his A3, heals his champion by 20% HP and places a 60% increased defense buff on all allies for two turns when hit with a critical hit. So, that's pretty cool. Right, let's try another sacred, shall we? No, no, Luthia. Okay, let's move back over to the Ancients. We'll do a ten pop. Barath the Blood Salt. Okay, nothing there. Go on then, we'll do another 10 pop on the Ancients. 
Shada. Oh, we got her, don't like her, she's a load of crap. A couple of okay rares, obviously I've already got them. Okay, so nothing out of the ancients. Not one useful champion. Got two more sacreds to pull. Fingers crossed. Pitiless. Very pitiless. Should be pitiful. Not a big fan of this champ. Don't like what he did. Don't like his looks. Don't like his kit. And I don't like the fact that I just got him. Okay. Last one. And it's another epic. And we get a torture helm. Who's torturous to get? I could have at least gotten some decent epics, but no. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm happy we got Sleeker. He's one of the champs we wanted out of this. Um, and, you know, we're outside of a 2x, so the percentages and the chances were pretty low. It's not like I had loads of um, shards to ball. But, I don't know, I've had some really good luck in the past on a couple of 10xs. Uh, I mean, I got my Valkyrie from a 10x and my Septimus from a 10x both on the same temple and I only had like 20 shards so you know sometimes it rolls that way with you sometimes it doesn't I must admit I swear my luck's gotten worse the more I spend on this game it's like they purposely adjust your chances to get you to buy more shards which quite frankly makes me just not want to buy shards <laughs> so you know anyway that was our um, shard pool video Sorry it's not a long one, sorry we didn't get any gold there, you know, I know that's what we all want to see when we do a video like this. However, we did get Seeker, we are going to be looking at building him up and trying to get that Batman comp going. And um, yeah, so we're looking forward to doing that. Thanks for watching, if you watched this far, I really appreciate it, hit that like button. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy my content, please help me boost the channel and get the channel out there hit that subscribe button the more subscribers I get the bigger I grow and the more people will see of me you know I do this for fun work full time but you know I'd really appreciate a um, chance to get bigger grow and see what we can do anyway thank you for watching I will catch you in the next video Iceman out bye